Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Woz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a starter coal setup in Satisfactory. This thing will produce around 600 megawatts, and it's not too complicated to build, so it's great for starters. Before you build this, make sure that you do have a conveyor Mark II with 120 coal per minute coming in, and that you are building this next to a water source. Alright, now that that's out of the way, we can actually start building. So first, go ahead, place a couple ramps up just like this here, and then once you're done with that, on top of these ramps, place a 5x7 platform just like this. Alright, now that we're done with that, we can begin placing coal generators. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and get out our coal generator and just place them on the very edge of this platform just like this here. So let's just get it perfect. There we go. That looks about right. So then you can go ahead and place four of these next to each other and it should perfectly be aligned with the actual platform. So it should be like the perfect amount of space. So let's just go ahead and place this final one here. There we go. And then go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side. So let's just go ahead and turn this around and just repeat the exact same thing basically so we're gonna place four on this side also like this here and there we go just like that now once you have all of these built you're gonna want to go ahead get out your foundations and build out four towards the water so build four foundations out just towards the water like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and get a better angle here so once you have this you're gonna go ahead get out your water extractors and you can just kind of place these facing this little platform here so just go ahead place four of these just like this two of them on this side and then two of them on the other side here as well i'm gonna try to get these lined up right there we go that looks like it's just about right Okay, pause for a second. As I was editing this video, I realized that I forgot to mention that you should set the water extractor's clock speed to 75%. That way they don't use too much power. So yeah, that, that's just really all I have to say, so we'll just resume the video. And there we go. So now once you have that, you can get out your pipe, set it to the vertical build mode, and bring the pipe up here to the edge, kind of like this. There we go. And do that with the other one as well, just like this. Here we go. I think think that looks right there then go ahead take these pipes and go ahead and uh, these like water extractors here then get out a pipeline junction cross place these on the edges right in front of these extractors then you can get pipes and connect these up just like this not like that let's get another one let's get this there we go and then place one like that there we go now you can get out your pipeline pump mark one and just kind of place them on all of the pipes facing up like this just like this here we go and done okay they don't have to be perfect i think i placed that one a little bit higher than the rest there we go and i'll replace this one also because they look a little weird there we go now it's all symmetrical so now once you have all these placed you can go ahead and connect these pipes up with the actual uh junction crosses here and there we go now, once you have that, you can go ahead and begin placing junction crosses in front of all of the fluid ports on the actual coal generators. So we can just go ahead and place these on both sides. Make sure that they are in line with these ones over here. So let's just go ahead and do this real quick. Let's put one there and there and there and right there. There we go. Now you can go ahead and connect up all of the pipes because just it's really simple and you can just go ahead and connect them up like this. So let's just go ahead and connect all these up and make sure that these are two separate pipes. Don't connect the actual, um, don't connect them like that at all. Keep them as two separate pipes. So let's just go ahead and grab ourselves the pipes, continue connecting it up. There we go. Get this one. And then let's just do this side real quick. There we go. Continue doing this. And there we go. Okay. So we have all of the pipes connected up just like that. Now, what you want to do is get out your conveyor splitters. Now, these are pretty simple. All you need to do is place these right in the middle between two coal generators. So, when you see that little line pop up like that, just place it there right in the middle of these two. So, then just keep placing splitters like that. Just keep doing that. So, let's just go ahead and place all of these splitters just like that. There we go. That's all you need to do. Then, get out your conveyor belt mark two and connect up all of the uh, actual splitters to the coal generators like this just go ahead connect these all up and it will look a little wiggly but it works fine 
So let's just go ahead and do that. I think this pipe is actually in the way. I think I may have placed this one a little off. Oh, I did, okay. So I placed this one a tiny bit off. Just go ahead and fix that real quick. Now it's fixed. So yeah, let's just go ahead and connect all these up. And then you can go ahead and connect up your input coal just like this. There we go. And then go ahead, turn off all of these generators. Uh, actually, you know what? Don't turn them off yet. Just let this coal kind of like filter through them all. So let them all fill up with coal. So the coal should actually go in here. Don't turn on the water extractors quite yet. And just wait for this coal to actually fill everything up. So I'll be right back as soon as they're full. All right, everything has finally backed up. As you can see, the coal is not moving anymore. It took about seven minutes total. I kind of counted. And uh, yeah, as you can see, all the coal is not moving. So now it's time to actually connect up all of the power. So you just want to have a power pull from your main power grid. I think you need about four biomass burners just dedicated to this to like jumpstart it. But anyways, to do the power pulls, just go ahead, place power pulls right here. Now don't plug in any of the coal generators quite yet. First, we want to fill them all with water, the same kind of thing we did with the coal. So to actually do that, you're just going to go ahead and do this, place a power pull in front of every coal generator, kind of like I did here. Then place a power pull over here, and then just kind of build a little square of power pulls in this little area here. So just going to build a little square. Then each power pull, you can connect a pump and a water extractor to. So they should start activating as soon as you connect them. And let's just go ahead, connect all of these up. And then give it just a couple seconds. Uh, it doesn't take a, really that long to actually distribute all the water. Make sure that all of these coal generators have enough water. Uh, so just make sure they all have 50 water. So uh, this looks good. I, I already filled the water beforehand so that this doesn't take too long. But you just want to wait until that they get enough water. Oh, I forgot to connect this one up, I think. And then let's just make sure we have all the pumps connected as well. We do. Okay. And then once you have them all full of water, you can actually start connecting the coal generators. So to do that, you just want to connect two of them to each one of these little power grids, power poles here. So just go ahead and connect them all up just like this. And where's that other power pole? There it is. Just connect them all up to these power poles that we placed just like this. I think I placed one here. Maybe, maybe I didn't place one here. Okay, I think I forgot to place one there. So uh, it's no big deal. We can just kind of replace it real quick. Uh, quickly make sure we don't shut off the water so there we go and then we connect these all up and then there should be smoke coming out of all of these and they should all have enough coal and enough water all of them will have the right amount and that is actually it for this build I hope everyone found this helpful uh, that's actually it that's that's everything so now this thing will be fully self-sufficient and you don't ever have to worry about it you can just leave and you can also delete this biomass burner and it will just be completely self-sufficient and you can connect this up to your power grid whatever you want and it will provide 600 megawatts of power as you can see uh if i go over here it says 600 megawatts ignore this that was from before right there it says 600 megawatts so this thing does produce 600 megawatts so yeah i hope you guys found this helpful if you did make sure to subscribe this was my first satisfactory video uh i i don't yeah i think this is my first ever video like with voice on this channel even but yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you guys found it helpful. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.